it's upgrade time. I'm going to go from my old 3018 CNC to a brand new 3040 CNC. Uh, this is just a frame kit, so we're going to have to move over all the electronics and spindle motor and power source to the new one as well. So with that, let's put it together. Before we jump into the build montage, let's go over why I purchased this machine. First, uh, it uses ball screws rather than lead screws, so there's no give on any of the axes. With a lead screw, you do get a tiny, tiny amount of play, um, and so the ball screw gets rid of that. Secondly, it's all metal construction. So there is, this is a pretty rigid machine with very little flex. Um, and then lastly, the super heavy optical axes. Um, again, less flex, um, more rigidity, um, which should translate into better carving. For assembly, there's a couple things to keep in mind. First, the instructions. Uh, they're actually pretty good, and all the hardware clean, came cleanly labeled, uh, which made putting it together pretty easy. Secondly, you want to keep your bolts loose until the end of each step. So the first step in the instructions is to assemble the Y component of the machine. So you will put them all these bolts in just snug. And then when you have everything sit sitting together nicely and square and sitting on a nice flat table, then go back and tighten each one of the bolts. Uh, so they're nice and tight. Thirdly, this machine is aluminum. So be careful with your bolts and not to over tight. Uh, aluminum does strip a little easier than steel, so just watch it when you are tightening those up. Fourth, the Z axis on this machine is actually quite high, so depending on your stepper motor, it's going to have to hang down a fair bit, and then you may even need to consider something like a spoil board just to get your work a little higher. Uh, I'm using a, a 42 mill millimeter spindle. The bracket is uh, 52 millimeters, so I did have to print a spacer, but everything came together nicely. Fifth, while the Z assembly came pre-assembled, the bolts were actually quite loose, and it did require dis being disassembled to a certain degree to get the bolts to hold the uh, Z to the X. And so you'll have to pull most of it apart anyway, and that'll give you an opportunity to put Loctite on the bolts and then tighten them up properly. Sixth, uh, blue Loctite. Use it on all the bolts you can. I've had experiences where either stepper motors or these couplers work loose during the middle of a job, uh, which ruins the job. So make sure you use blue Loctite just to give it a good hold uh, so you don't have anything rattling loose during use. Seven, while the tools that come with the machine do the job and will get it assembled, uh, I would recommend a couple extra tools uh, starting with a square, just to make sure your gantry is square with your base. Um, a good tape measure, or in my case, I actually used a micrometer to measure in the standoffs. There is, while there, the holes are pre-drilled, there is a little bit of slop in them. So you'll want to measure both sides to make sure it is just right and the equal distance uh, from the back on both sides. Um, I like to use some good hex drivers rather than the included tools. A little nicer on the hands and, and a little easier to make sure you're not over torquing the bolts. Um, but if you only have the tools it came with, that'll do the job as well. Eight, the included USB had diagrams for wiring the stepper motors, which unfortunately didn't work for me. Uh, using my ohm meter, I found the coil pairs uh, and took those wires to my drivers as shown here. Nine, note that this is a frame kit only with the stepper motors being optional. I got the steppers, but all the electronics and the spindle molder I have brought over from my old machine, which were upgrades that I had put on my old machine a while back. Also note the kit does not include any clamps for the bed. So if you don't have any clamps, 
I would recommend ordering some of those as well. 10, the bolts that hold the bed down uh, interfere with the clamps I do have. So when selecting new clamps or the placement of these clamps, I'll have to keep that in mind. Now time for the build montage. We have the frame all assembled and now we'll bring the electronics over from the old 3018. So we've finished up the wiring. Uh, it was a bit of a challenge. Had to use the ohm meter to find the right pairs on the stepper motors for wiring them up. But everything's looking good. We can move it around just like it should. And with that, we'll clean up the wiring and then test it out on some wood. Quick review of the electronics I'm using. Uh, starts off with a mains disconnect. We go to a 24 volt Meanwell power supply. Uh, Arduino Nano running Kerbal. Uh, 24 to five volt converter for the Nano. We have the motor driver for the spindle. And then we have the three motor drivers for the stepper motors. These are just generic TB6600s. Um, and that's about it. If you'd like to see more details on how I've set up this machine with Gerbil, uh, leave a comment and maybe I'll do a future video on it.